Hi everybody. So first of all, unfortunately, I didn't have the time to actually work on Skunk much this weekend. So the PR, the pull request for Wave 2 Vok is still open. Um, I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm still polishing the code. I mean, the code is working. I'm just polishing it. I, I don't like uh, actually committing half decent code, half polished code only. Uh, like, yeah. Um, but I had some other interesting projects to work on this weekend. First of all, heads up, um, until Tuesday, you can still get Dragon Ruby for free, which is a pretty great game engine if you're into Ruby and want to develop a game in Ruby. So um, you can find it on Game Dev, on Reddit Game Dev. Um, and there's an itch.io link. For the free download, I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it in the description as well. Um, that aside, I found out that Goblins Five is actually out now. I, I didn't even know there was a Goblins Five. I, I missed the Kickstarter, which is a bit of a shame. But and fortunately, there was no physical content apparently for the Kickstarter. So um, I think they probably would have gotten a lot more money if they had had some merchandise. But they only got up at about 7k, which is still awesome, but it's it's an older franchise, so... But yeah, so I found out that there, this game is out, and I found a demo, which is actually the first of four chapters. And um, then on the itch.io page um, by Pierre... Um, Pierre Galaud... So on the itch.io page for Pierre Gallaud, um, I, I found a comment that had this image, this screenshot in it. And um, it mentioned that they kind of got ScumVM to run this game. But then as soon as they dropped something into the, uh, into the garbage can, which is a required action, they were presented with this um, error message. So um, I just kept, I, I was just doing a quick look and <laughs> this is one of these things, this is one of these don't try it at home situations. You should never do this in the code, obviously. Um, at the very least, uh, I should obviously check for the game ID and only, and basically don't run uh, the branching, the if branching, if um, if the game ID matches. Skip that part. I just commented out the entire code. It's just, um, obviously that's not, the, the it's not upstream. <laughs> this is not something I would push upstream to scum VM. Uh, I just did a quick and dirty two line comment out and it actually worked. So far I've been able to run this game um, gonna close that as well. I still have an issue with my computer, <laughs> with my Mac Mini. Uh, I think I need to eventually take it apart and apply some thermal paste because the thing is running hot as fuck. Um, like it's really running hot as hell. The fan is going off again. I haven't even started a game yet. In any case, let's show you the game. So there it is, Goblins 5 demo. Schnibble Productions. Reminds me of Schnibble of Azimuth, which is actually the only game I don't have of them. I never played, even though I saw it in a bargain bin. Um, we're gonna start a new game. I, I have loaded the game, but we're starting a new game. Somehow the week start, started off well. It, it, it should say started off. It said stated. Obviously there's some here we are at Flatus Park. Who is this tuber? I'm not gonna do any voices, I'm just gonna read what is actually there. Um, I think the font, I might have to check out the game in, on Windows maybe, on, or on, in the native, quote unquote native AGS interpreter. 
Um, God, my the fans are going crazy. I really hope, I really hope my computer doesn't die on me while I'm playing this. Um, okay, and here's the. Here's the part where the game would crash normally. Um, as soon as I drop it into uh, the frog shaped garbage can. Yep, now it works. And I think the issue is that um, Pierre or whoever wrote the code probably l used a uh, an animation repeat value um, for the character that would normally not work, but uh, AGS is maybe a bit more liberal. The actual, the, the, the normal uh, AGS interpreter is maybe a bit more liberal with this than uh, ScumVM, the ScumVM engine. So maybe it works there and just fails in ScumVM. But yeah, anyhow, I, as I was saying, I need to check the quote-unquote native. I mean, it's, both of them are native. Uh, but I need to check the AGS interpreter if the if the font... I, I feel the font is maybe off. I don't know. Maybe it is this way, but the font is just sometimes hard to read. And it just feels off. And yeah, the game is mainly lagging because of my Mac Mini recording. There's no lag whatsoever when I just play the game. It's OBS in the background that is just horrible. Okay. And let's see. But yeah, I think graphically it's so far my favorite part of the series. Like, I've played, the last one I played was the fourth one actually. And the fourth, I didn't play it too long ago, like, okay, 2015 maybe, 2014, 2015. So, a while ago still, but um, the graphics were obviously more advanced because it was 3D. But um, this seems more fitting, just more natural to the series. Okay. Let's see how far we can play this before my computer explodes. I don't know if closing some of the terminals would help. Oh, we still got, just a sec, we still got Visual Studio Code open as well. This should also be closed. But yeah, it's it's mostly um, OBS, I think. I think we really need formal paste on this little computer. Jesus, now oh, it's really considerably slowing down. I really hope it's hard to. I mean, it's a 2011 Mac Mini. What are you coming to do in my time space? Some of the uh, translation is, I don't know. Oh, magnificent plan. We're coming to make a little housekeeping. For example, all this garbage at your feet. I love that scene. Don't worry, Cosmic Gnome. I'll clean up a little. 
But now that he mentioned it, I must have stepped on something while walking around last night. Yeah, like I said, side real leprechaun. If you could take that away. Okay, we've got a hammer. Wow, thanks, Celestial Corrigan Greet. So my first instinct was actually to call on Asgard, but then I that didn't work. Um, it wouldn't even like recognize the. He wouldn't do anything. He wouldn't recognize the command or anything. He would just walk towards that direction, and then I noticed I had the hammer in the inventory. Um, we can't do anything with the rabbit, I believe. I've not seen anything being done. I've played through the... It doesn't make me want to work. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've played through the first two levels before. First two screens. Um, well, not two screens, there's more than two screens. But um, yeah, the, the first two levels. And there wasn't much I could do with a rabbit. Um, anyhow, oh, what? We can grab that now. Ah. There's some pixel hunting involved. I'm exhausted. Yeah, the game is a native uh, 640 by 480. And it's, it's using Adventure Game Studio. A crazy job. So there's a lot of potential here because I think we could easily port, this game could easily be ported um, to Amiga even, like a higher end Amiga obviously, but um, there's a lot of potential there due to Scum VM. I could, if I had the chance, if I could get the chance to actually work on this, I could make a really good port for the, for older consoles like the Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation Vita, um, and Amiga, maybe even Atari ST. There's a lot of potential here for older platforms. Um, I actually messaged Pierre on uh, Kickstarter hoping he will answer me. And uh, yeah, I would love to work on this game to be honest. Having this ported to different platforms, having some of the little bugs iron out. But there's a lot of potential here for a great game. Like gameplay wise, this is probably the best Goblins game yet. And, and graphics wise as well. Like graphics, I love the graphics. It just feels like a natural evolution for. There's actually a video on the evolution of the Goblin series, and this feels like a natural evolution. see what he was like before. <laughs> it's a shame, I used to be gorgeous goblin, a top model. <laughs> so yeah, there's some mysterious plague that like turns people into potatoes. There's like a flash of light and then, um, what else is there? Oh, right. I forgot. There's still the garbage there. I was wondering. Um, I believe. Oh, no, never mind. Ignatius. No? Asgard? 
Oh, with Asgard. Never mind. I played the game a couple of moments ago, but I already forgot some of the puzzles. That's how good they are. There's a high replay value, even if I played the game a couple of moments ago. There's so much going on that it's hard to remember. Anyway, Astral Dwarf, I lost my glasses. Could you find them for me? I got his glasses. The mole had them. I found your glasses, oh venerable one. And that is that. Cool, my interplanetary willow to wisp. I swear I'll do some cleaning. I don't forget the meaning of life, friend of the fairies. Be cool. You're an ocean of wisdom. And thank you for keeping your promise. Okay, well done. And that is the first stage, the first level. Oops, I think you did really well on this one. Oh yeah, his name is Oops. Really, Asgore, I could have done anything without you two. For real, you really handled it. Well done, oops. Thank you, Asgard. High five. Yeah, there's a lot of scenes like that. Garbage bag. <laughs> and famous. There's a Tolkien reference. Okay. Throw all of this away. And then there should be an anchor. There is already. Uh, let's throw away the rest though. I want no, actually let's see what happens. I kinda of wonder what happens. It is written on the parchment, so, Sirs Ops, Asgard, and Ignatius are expected in the apartments of the good thing and go lover urgent. King Angular is asking for us urgently. He must. M we must meet him as soon as possible. Okay. Thing to do before we leave. Okay, we have to throw away the garbage. It won't let us pass unless we do that. Uh, I think it's pronounced Angulver or Angle. It. Okay, we got it. Regardless of how the king is, king's name is pronounced, we can breathe, yay. The king is asking for us, let's go. And if I get permission, I will probably um, actually make a turn this into a uh, an app, into an app file. Here's the Palamede belonging to our good King El Angular's aerial marine. Um, yeah, if I get the permission to do that, I will probably uh, create a an app bundle for macOS, and um, then people can just play it. And the play the demo natively on on a Mac. This boat is stopped. We must start to lead us to the king's castle. I mean, again, there's also AGS, the, the AGS interpreter. You could also use that to port the game. But I kind of like ScumVM because ScumVM just runs everywhere and the. I mean, there's some work to make AGS work on iOS and Android, and there's some games that were ported this way. But overall, I just feel like um, it's the better way to do it by um, ScumVM, because ScumVM can just run everywhere, including old consoles, new consoles, old home computers. So it's quite precious.
So if we sent Oops instead, he will just punch us, this potato guy. Okay, now we have to switch and grab an item. Goodbye, Asgard. What kind of perplexed me the first time I played this demo, or this game in general, is the socks are, you can't, you can't do anything with the sock or with the tongue. It's just there to confuse you, I guess. Okay. So go up there and talk to the captain. Hey, Captain, we're expected by King Angola. Sorry, man, the ship is not moving anymore. Okay. What's going on? Aren't we moving forward? My whole crew turned into potatoes. But, but how is it possible? Don't know, every time there was a flash, some kind of a big whistle. Oh, my key. There's the flash. And now he's a potato. <laughs> or soon. I picked up your key, Captain, but... Here I am, potato-tized. I'm in disgrace, unworthy to lead this ship. My friend, if you manage to get the boat moving again, go straight on to reach the castle. And please feed my dear fish. Feed all my fish. Wow, he really amazed me. Poor captain. A ray coming from nowhere turned him into a potato. Well, we have to feed his fish. Beautiful dried flies. I take two. At least this one has eaten. I still have one fly left. So that's kind of... I guess that's good game design because it invites you to go multiple times and so you can actually spot if there's... I mean you have to go multiple times anyways because there's multiple puzzles. So I think this one doesn't eat the fly. They eat different things. Yeah, he doesn't like flies. Okay. Now I have to walk back, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate, because I'm... I guess normally if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know the puzzles, 
then maybe. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, I don't know if this one even eats flies. Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> Never mind. He doesn't like flies. There's like multiple that want multiple different things. Yep. Okay. So now we gotta talk to this guy. I'm the sheep boy. They call me Papa. Turn in a potato like the others. Tell me, boy, can we get to the top? The system is broken. I wish I could help you. But since I'm a potato, I'm so weak. He kind of reminds me of the bully in, uh, in SpongeBob. He looks kind of like the bully in SpongeBob. I think the guy who like um, pretended there were no pickles on the burger. Okay, but well we got the strengthener. Drink some of this, kid. I feel my strength coming back. Okay, let's go up there. Activate. I'm not gonna take it. Should probably say I'm not gonna make it or something. <laughs> Although that would also be a bit dramatic. And his name is Pompon. Okay, so let's feed the rest of the fish. I'm not sure which one. Oh no, this one actually needs special. He doesn't. I think this one doesn't even like the fish food. Yeah, doesn't. There was one fish that needed something else. This one. Okay, and there's actually fish inside of here too. So we gotta get up there with Asgard. Oh, I forgot this fish. It's the last one that needs to fly. Oh, we can feed them when we get down. So that's that's actually good puzzle design. It's well thought out. Um, okay, so we're gonna punch him in the eye. I don't know if that's a him or her. Um, oh, okay, now we need to. Okay, that might be too slow. <laughs> Oh, it might be. T I don't know if the timer is still. Maybe the timer actually stops when you. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, they're fed too. We've also fed the inflatable fish. And all the little fish is hidden in his mouth. Okay, so I guess it is a hit. I guess it is a, f a male fish. <laughs> um. We need both of them down. Okay. Pom pom, do your work. We can't use the propeller yet because we need fish oil. I've played the demo before. Um, okay. I needed to see if, if there's any other issues. But so far, I think that's the only incompatibility. And I think it's really due to... I don't think there's like an engine modification or anything in, in his code. I think it's really just a bug in the way he scripted it. He 
use some animation value that's not supposed to be there. And I guess the normal AGS ignores it, the normal interpreter, and maybe throws an error or a warning, well not an error, a warning, um, and well, ScumVM just quit. the oil we need. Painting. There's another key behind the painting. We're gonna feed the fish. So I guess we do need one more fly. Yeah, go for it, man. You're a real pal. Um, let me see. I think we can talk to her. Lady Mermaid. Captain, he jumped. Well, he always does that. He's depressed and alcoholic. He will come back. Yeah, but Captain, he's a potato. Come on, you're a bit tough. He turned a potato, that's what I mean. That's true, but he's a friend. Oh, it started to rain outside. I was wondering what that was. I think there was like a thunderstorm going on a couple of minutes ago. Um, so I think, I think, I don't know if it's related to this engine, or maybe the, the font itself is just not very well made. Like, I get that the rest of the game is pixel art, but the font is just too sharp and too pixelated. I think there should. I think that the, the font needs actually some anti-aliasing. Anti um, that might be an issue. Oh yeah, it started to. F there's a thunderstorm. She's pretty, isn't she? Is the little girl cute? Do you like her? The cute little fish from the tropics. Hey, hey. This old green fish is still young. Okay. Um. I'm actually gonna take a break here just to be sure that everything recorded up till this point. <laughs>